Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. What's up, you guys? What's up, divas and divos? Hey, everybody. So your girl is back for another video, okay? What's good? You guys are in the best of spirits. You know, living your best life, like they say. I don't really know what living your best life is, but as long as you live it positive, then I guess that's what it is. Voice is still a little bit raspy today, but I'm pretty sure by tomorrow we'll be back to its normal. And then I guess I can annoy everybody. And I'm talking about everybody here, not you guys. I don't annoy you guys, right? But anyway, so I'm cool today. I'm a little hot. You know, I'm gonna have to turn this fan on next to me because the body temperature be rising. You know, I'll be having them hot flashes. Wait, girl, let's just get into this video, okay? Okay. Yeah, I know I like to do wig videos. I mean, it's obvious, duh. But this is the first time that I've ever worked with this company ever. But I've had the hair for just a couple months. Nothing too long this time, okay? She's <laughs> just late. The company is called Curly Me. Curly Me, girl. Now, yes, they do sell other hair texture besides curly hair. Girl, a done went long on y'all. It's 24 inches. They do like 22. So what's the extra two inches? It's something to me. Okay. This is her right here. 24 inch Brazilian loose wave, 13 by 6, 150% density. I had this week for a minute. I already bleached it. I already pre-plucked it. And then I had to rewash it. And girl, just about a few minutes ago, I went ahead and sewed an elastic band in it. So I am definitely prepared for today. It does come with the combs. These are great for making sure that your wigs does not slip back. Like, yes, true indeed, these might help too, but on a size, they really tug at your edges a little bit more than they should. So if you don't have a comb like this in the middle, I would suggest you sew one in there because, honey, these will save your life. It does most of the holding versus the edges, you know. It's, it holds it more here. You should definitely always feel like you at your best. Beautiful, sexy, cute, pretty, kitten, this thing, whatever you want to call it. Anything else? Fleaky. I don't know. But either way, you too should feel that way, girl. Like, I'm being dead serious right now. Like, seriously. And I know that there have been times when I have not felt that way. For example, being out in public and you just got to keep looking through a mirror or a window. You want to make sure your wig is lined up with, you know, your hairline. Like, seriously. And there have been quite a few times when your girl thought she was so cute. Then I realized, looking in that Walmart mirror, ooh, you best to pull up your wig a little bit right there, slipping back. I always say that these combs are good now because before I was totally against them, but now they and I are best friends, okay? Okay. Even when I'm hairspraying my wig down, that comb comes in handy because it leaves less tension versus the edges. You're just going to get into how your wig come, and we're going to go right into the video. When you receive your unit from Curly Me, you receive it in their white standard packaging. Your unit will also come with a two-piece wig cap that will protect your hair from your unit. The unit that I received is a loose wave 24 inch 13 by 6 lace frontal. The density of the unit is 150%. As you can see, you will need to bleach the knots if you prefer a more realistic looking scalp. I went ahead and used a 30 volume developer along with my bleach and allowed it to sit on the unit for about 45 minutes. The hair is super wavy. Once you receive the unit, I would highly suggest to co-wash it with conditioner as this will bring the natural appearance of the curls and waves. Curly Me has many different units to choose from and this unit comes in either a 13 by 4 or 13 by 6 and many different densities. I'll be sure to link all of their information below.
right, you guys. So you guys know the drill. I'm just taking an alcohol wipe and just cleaning my hairline, my forehead, so that way the wig will stick on better. You definitely want to make sure you do that because if you don't, you'll get makeup or whatever on the lace. So make sure that you clean your hairline off and clean any makeup or dirt debris that you have on. Girl, just wash your face, okay? Anyway, so here we go with cutting the lace. And you know the standard. I'm just going to kind of like snip at it because I don't want to do a blunt cut. So I'm just snipping at it. This makes it easier for me versus using the blunt, like using the um, eyebrow trimmers or razor. I just can't get that method. So, and I just, it just scares me. I don't really want to cut myself or the too much. So I just rather like kind of like snip in between the hairs. So that way it'll look, you know, better for me and that's what I'm doing the lace came out really good like you know what I'm saying the um, bleaching of the knots and so forth they did a really good job and it already comes standard pre plug so you know I did pre pluck it a little bit on my own because that's what I wanted to do but the wig is a little bit too big on the sides and this is just standard with any wig they always make flap over your ear so you want to part it over the ear and just once you part it you want to take your scissors and cut that excess lace off and now just repeat these same steps on the opposite side. As you guys seen, I went ahead and made some baby hairs and flyaways. And I'm going to use my bedhead hairspray to adhere the wig. And I'm pretty sure you guys know the jest from here. So I'm just going to be quiet and I'll let you guys enjoy some music. I might be broken down, but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high, though I fail. Sometimes I get a bit emotional. But then I turn around and let it go. I see you watching me from a distance. I see you can't decide what to feel. But if you dig a little deeper, boy, you know you really want to get to know me. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah, I'm a bit too much, but I'm fun and games. When I'm at the truth, I just wanna play. If you are looking for one hell of a ride, just come and get it. Baby, I'm on yours. Come and get it, 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 come and get it. If you are looking for one hell of a ride, just come and get it. Baby, I'm on yours. Jump on my roller coaster and hold tight. It won't be easy, but it'll be fun. Sometimes it goes the whole way up and down. I think you're ready now to leave the ground. Get in the fast lane, baby, you can make it. I promise I'll be there all the way. And if you get a little broken down, all that you gotta do is keep your head high. Let's get this out of the way. I can't be another day. To tell you, you shouldn't wait. Don't be so afraid. Yeah, I'm a bit too much, but I'm fun and games. When I'm at the top, I just wanna play. If you are looking for one hell of a ride, just come and get it. Baby, I'm all yours. Come and get it, 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 come and get it. If you are looking for one hell of a ride, just come and get it. Baby, I'm all yours. Oh, 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 oh. I'm a bit too much, but I'm finding games. When I'm at the top, I just wanna play. If you are looking for one hell of a ride, just come and get it. Baby, I'm on yours. Come and get it, 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 come and get it. If you are looking for one hell of a ride, just come and get it. Baby, I'm on yours.
Listen, we like to do easy over here on this channel. Like, I don't like anything too complicated. I'm not about to step out of bounds, flip over trees, do cartwheels, spin in the ocean, learn how to swim or drown. Anything else? That's what I was thinking. I like it simple. And this was easy breezy cover girl. My lips is dry as a Sahara Desert. Like, listen, y'all, my lips is dry right now. It's gonna be a problem. Okay, so anyway, let me tell y'all. This week, for our first impressions and a very first time messing and dealing with curly me, this is some pretty hair. I like this loose volume curl texture or pattern. I like this. I like how it's just juicy curls. I told you guys, you have to condition it, wash it, condition it. If you sit there and just be spraying away like a maniac, then it's just gonna look really, really stringy. The only thing that I used this water for was to just part the hair. You know what I'm saying? The conditioner that I have in it is the leave-in conditioner made with shea butter by Shea Solutions. This I did get from the Dollar Tree and it works really decent for a dollar. And I just put that in here with some water, honey. That way my curls don't dry out, my hair don't dry out. It is shedding a little bit. I'm not sure if it's from pre -plucksion. I don't even know if that's the word, but it is for today. for me like you know cutting the baby hairs and parting it and then cutting the sideburn hairs i don't really know but listen like it's got a decent amount i would say this is like a medium luster it's not too shiny and it's definitely not dry i like the fact that it's wavy all up here and also it seems like it's kind of layered i like the lace it worked out even though i did have to spray on some of my even new york look at it it just looks like scalpage girl scalpage this is a nice wig now i know y'all probably like girl how much is that one okay for 24 inches inches 150 percent density um in a 13 by 6 240 dollars however they do carry 130 they also carry 13 by fours also 360 so you can also do 130 percent density here's the kicker to 130 percent and i'm not suggesting to do this on all wigs the only way that i would do 130 percent on any wig it would have to be like a deep wave or curly hair or a kinky hair not straight not body wave it doesn't give enough texture it has to be like a texture style like curly hair or wavy hair or kinky hair or yakky hair 130 is passable for those but when you're getting into like straight and body wave girl please don't even think about it and also some loose waves too the cap was a little bit not big it fit good but i think like the elastic that i had but you know how some elastic is overly stretchy you can tell cheap elastic you can tell when elastic is really cheap because it's overly stretchy it doesn't really have much tension to it and that's the issue with this elastic and the hair is long but i'm still feeling it like i feel really cute today girl because i was going to do this one yesterday but then i looked really cute in the other wig so then i was like oh i'm gonna look really cute for my husband but then i was like uh at 12 like at 10 30 11 o'clock i was getting really hot and i was tempting to sleep with the wig on but girl i got really hot i feel like i was getting a wig headache and i was like well i'm i can't be too cute for you right now and he was like you always cute for me what are you talking about you always sexy for me so he was like, take the wig off. So I took the wig off and just laid in the bed with my cornrows. You know, sometimes we got to go above and beyond for our loved ones to make ourselves feel good. Like, you know, look sexy for them and stuff. But sometimes that sexiness can bring a whole lot of heat to you. Child. So I love you guys. Stay diva and divalicious. Let me know what you think of this one, hunty. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye. Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe and the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.